Hi, good morning. Robert Medlin here. I want to just uh, give you a little bit of uh, insight into into how you can make decisions and and uh, how you can avoid arguments uh, uh, between each other. Or whether you're in talking about marriage or you're talking about uh, being on your ball team or your or, or at work or or whatever, you know, uh, it's an, an easy way to to make decisions. That just uh, the scriptures say that that uh, casting lots settles disputes and keeps strong opponents apart and that uh, another scripture says the lot is cast into the lap but every decision is from the Lord so Jesus has given us his spirit in us to, to lead us and guide us and uh, and that is wonderful and he does he leads us and guides us into all truth and he leads us and guides us into scriptures and teaches us about scriptures uh, he orchestrates all the gifts of the spirit operating through us and and for us uh, he orchestrates angels working with us uh, it, it's just wonderful and so he's given us all these all these tools well every promise of God is yes in Christ and it doesn't matter whether that promise is in the Old Testament or the New Testament that uh, Jesus has has qualified us to receive every promise he's getting in fact that's the way we partake of the divine nature uh, it says in uh, in second Peter that that he has given us his very great and precious promises so that by them we can partake of the divine nature and escape the corruption of the world caused by evil desires well the way you escape the corruption of the world caused by evil desires one of the ways to do that uh, the way to do it is living by promise by the promises and another way to do that is to give up your will to the will of the Lord and to believe that he is in control of the universe and so uh, let me just give you an example that will be a blessing to you. My wife and I uh, really felt strongly that we were to move. We were, we were pastoring a church that we had that we had pioneered and, and we felt like the Lord wanted us to go to another city just to uh, pioneer another church. And so we just uh, moved down to that city. We, we went down to that city. Actually, we, we put all of our furniture in storage, put our house up for sale, went down to the city to look for a place to, to live temporarily uh, until our home sold. And so uh, Diana, my wife, had had a vision uh, before we left to go to the city. Uh, she had a vision of a white two-story house with two patches of green lawn. So we knew the Lord was showing us where he wanted us to be. And uh, previously he had given me a word as we were traveling through that city another time. Uh, he had just spoken to me and said, position yourself for the harvest. So we knew that the Lord was, was bringing us to this city, uh, particular city, because he had a harvest that he wanted to to reap there in that city so we were just full of confidence about this and so um, we just uh, uh, went ahead and we'd already turned our church over to another young man who took over pastoring that church and so we moved down to this city or we went down to this city to look for a place to live and so we we uh, we felt like uh, we we knew what the house was going to look like it was a white two-story house with two patches of green lawn pretty simple huh so we uh, we spent several days and uh, looking and looking and looking looked like seemed like we looked at every home in that in that town and uh, there just wasn't anything for rent that was a white two-story house with two patches of green lawn we just we were really having a hard time and uh, so one morning we we got up and we were staying in a motel and decided to, to go out to pray kind of confused you know but at that point we were willing to take anything uh, you know, so anything that was that, that that was meet our needs. So we went out to walk, and we're walking down a road that we had never been down, and it came, we came to a dead end. And so uh, we could either go to the right or the left. And so the scripture says the lot's cast into the lap. The lot is cast into the lap, but every decision is from the Lord. So I just reached down. We didn't know which way to turn to the right or the left, but I just reached down. We were just out for a walk, praying and. And, and really not expecting to find the house we were looking for. And so I reached, reached down and picked up a pine twig that looks kind of like a V, you know, kind of looks like that, kind of looks like a V, and, uh, and flipped it around and asked the Lord, Lord, show us which way uh, to go. So that was casting the lot. That was, that was asking the Lord to show us uh, through a natural sign which way to go. So the sign pointed uh, uh, this way. So, so we, we went down to the... To, to the intersection there and turn right we walked a few steps and looked up and and there uh, is this white story white two-story home uh, on the left hand left hand side of the road with a and we so we that's pretty exciting we walk down there and we look in the window not even a sign out front there in the window there's a sign that says for rent 
Uh, this is in a, in a luxurious area of, of this city, uh, a place we probably wouldn't have looked at normally, but uh, it, was, it was just on a most beautiful, scenic, uh, uh, on the, it's a place where presidents have, have, have uh, they've had, people get, had get-togethers for presidents in this area. And so here we are, we had no clue, and we see this for sale sign in the window. And so we find out that uh, that one bank had foreclosed on another bank, and that uh, the bank was putting it up and renting it. And so we just called, and it was a real reasonable rent. So we just we just uh, made an agreement and rented that home to wait until our other home sold. And so here we are. We're living on a beautiful river with the most beautiful view you've ever seen in a mansion-like house uh, that the Lord showed us through where it was through the casting of the lots. It was just a wonderful thing. Well, it turns out that the Lord was taking us to that city. There, A great revival broke out at that time. Uh, it's, it's still going on around the world. Uh, tremendous miracles took place. We were able to be a part of that and, and just to have the joy of being a part of that. Uh, and just a great experience in our lives. And so that happened. We were able to find this White Story House, which filled us with faith. Uh, it filled filled people with faith that we told about it and so uh, it was just uh, we just knew we were in the right place at the right time and that the Lord was going to do something wonderful there so so the Lord uses uh, you know he says when, when you don't know what to do you know you he uses things like uh, that promise in the Bible says there's a, a casting lots uh, uh, that, that when you don't know what to do you can cast lots you can flip a coin you can flip a twig you can do whatever you need to do Many times when we're out walking or uh, we're not sure whether we're supposed to, to share the gospel with a certain group of people uh, or not, we, we'll just ask the Lord, you know, is this the right time? Is this the right people? We'll just flip a coin and say, Lord, should we talk to these people? And the Lord shows us and he's faithful. So this is a wonderful thing for us um, to be able to use. And so uh, one of the things that it does is it keeps strong opponents apart. Uh, if you're married, you know that you that that married people don't always agree and so one of the one of the most wonderful things is to be able to to is to settle arguments to settle disagreements by just saying well let's just trust the lord he said that he would the the casting of lots is in his hands the lots cast in the lap every decision is from the lord let's just go ahead and just flip a coin about that decision so we'll just flip a coin and say lord should we do this or do that and and just entrust the decision to him we're not trusting we're not entrusting it to ourselves anymore we're entrusting it to him. Both of us have the Holy Spirit. Uh, both of us are being led by the Spirit, but we're we have a con we have a conflict, and so we're not perfect in our being led by the Spirit. You know, uh, we're just we we know in part, and we we we're not perfect in our knowledge. And so when it comes to to things like that, where you're just not certain, and uh, especially in husband and wife relationships. Uh, maybe with the leadership of churches or, or whatever, and that uh, the casting of lots settles disputes and keeps strong opponents apart. And so, my wife and I uh, just use that as a as a blessing for us. Whether we're going deciding where we're going to go eat or, or or making decisions of of any kind, really, if we're if we if we're together on it, we just do it. Uh, you know, that's that's a sign that this Holy Spirit is. Is, is moving through us when we're together. And so uh, when we have a disagreement, that's the problem. The problem is the disagreements between people. And so the way the Lord has given us to say, okay, well, put your, put your trust in me. Just put your faith in me. Just flip a coin about it. I'll show you what to do. And so the Lord does that. And he, and he, he, takes, he takes care of those issues and keeps us from having all those conflicts and confrontations and 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 arguments and things like that that kind of mess up your day, <laughs> and uh, and and just put a, put a damper on your whole day. So, the Lord has given us a wonderful wonderful tool to to be able to use. It takes faith to do that because you have to believe that the Lord. That, but when you flip a coin, that uh, or whatever, if you flip a pine twig, or a straw or whatever, that that when you do that, that the Lord is in control. And that, and that he's showing you what to do. You have to have faith. Everything's not a faith of sin. You have to have faith that, that he is doing that for you. And so 
uh, that promise belongs to us. That's one of the promises Jesus bought for us is that we can we can cast lots and every decision comes from the Lord and he can help us and keep keep strong opponents apart. It'll be a blessing to you if you put that into practice. Um, I put the scripture references to to, to those scriptures uh, that I've that I've mentioned uh, on the screen there so you can look them up yourself. Uh, casting lots would be a great blessing to you. Uh, uh, in, in different times of your life, you know, my wife and I, uh, we do that a number of times a day usually, you know. Uh, where, where do you want us to go to, to walk? Because we meet people from all over the world when we go for a walk and we're able to share the gospel with people from every nation. And so we ask the Lord, you know, there's, there's a, a jillion places around here that we could go walk for our exercise. Lord, where do you want us to go walk today? And so we just go and, and walk where he tells us to walk. And whether we see anybody or not, it doesn't matter. But, but uh, many times we run into the most, um, yeah, the most amazing encounters with people from around the world that we're able to share God, the gospel with, we're able to, to share Jesus with. And so the Lord, uh, the Lord uses that. It's, uh, it's one of the promises that Jesus purchased for us on the cross. So uh, anyway, if you're, if you're married... Uh, put this into practice. If you if you tend to have a lot of arguments about little things, just both of you get in the scriptures, read these scriptures, and so you both have faith to do it and say, okay, whenever we have a disagreement, why don't we just why don't we just flip a coin, and just uh, ask the Lord to show us what to do? And it takes all the pressure you put the the decision on the put put it on the Lord's back and not on your back, and you you don't feel like you're missing out on something because you didn't get your way. You know, we're all selfish human beings and we want our way. Casting the lots is just a way to give, to entrust ourselves to the Lord, and He is faithful to to uh, to help us and do that for us. Well, I know this will be a blessing for you if you just uh, put it into practice. Uh, it'll it'll take a lot of arguments. You know, if you're if you're part of a church board and the board is always having arguments, well, get in here and look at this scripture and say, you know what, we could just do this. We can just cast lots we can make decisions uh that if we have an arguments and we're not sure what to do you know this is one way we can we can uh we can make decisions and, and keep from getting into all kinds of contention so uh that's where the devil operates is in contention well god bless you and have an awesome day